veloce, Slovers. I just finished building a Linux boot image file for SD micro card to use with my new gadget over here. Look at this. This is new on the market. It is an Odroid U3 Community Edition mini computer. And it really is mini. Look at it in the palm of my hand. But make no mistake about it. This is a very powerful machine. It has four cores. It's a bit like four horses pulling your carriage instead of one. And it is very fast. It goes over 200 miles per hour. I inserted a USB Bluetooth dongle into one of the USB ports. Why? I want to connect this machine loaded with Pico Chess and Stockfish DD engine to a DGT Bluetooth chess board. But since here in high mountains of Slovenia we cannot afford the original DGT electronic Bluetooth board the Revelation 2 will have to do, it can emulate the board. So let's turn it on and hold this button at boot. This button tells the machine to start in the Bluetooth compatibility mode, to behave, to act, to emulate the ordinary DGT electronic board. Okay, see, so here it is, Revelation 2 Bluetooth eBoard mode. So now we need to connect Pico Chess and Odroid to power and wait for the connection to be automatically made. Okay? So let's wait. The machines are talking via Bluetooth. It takes a while, obviously. But when it starts, it doesn't stop anymore. Okay, here it is. Pico 0 0.18, the machine has booted and is operational. So now let's start a game. First, with an extra queen, I select a book. Say, no, not an ant, not Korchnoi book, but the fun book. This is one I like. The level, okay, let's try this. This is level six. Okay. I feel good today, level 7 it is, and now time controls, Fisher, 5 minutes plus 5 seconds of Fisher increment, no, let's make it 15 and 5, that's it, let's start the game, go, by the book, E7, E6, okay, get the center. We are still in the book. D7, D5, and so on, and so on. Bye-bye. Now what? Oh, what a mistake. 